Hello and welcome to this video on how to write a synopsis for an aim take thesis. If you are in the process of preparing your thesis and are unsure of how to create a synopsis, this video is for you. In this video, we'll go over the key components of a thesis synopsis and the page limitations you should keep in mind when writing. Section 1. Introduction. The first section of your thesis synopsis is the introduction. The introduction should provide a brief overview of your research topic and the context of your study. It should also explain the need for your research and its significance in the field. When writing this section, keep in mind that it should not exceed 2 to 3 pages, including figures and illustrations. Section 2. Brief Literature Survey The next section of your synopsis is the Brief Literature Survey. In this section, you'll summarize the existing research on your topic and discuss the gap in the literature that your research aims to fill. This section should not exceed 3 pages. In this section, you'll summarize the existing research on your topic and discuss the gap in the literature that your research aims to fill. Section 3. Problem Formulation The third section of your synopsis is the problem formulation. Here, you'll articulate the problem or issue you aim to address with your research. You'll also explain why the problem is significant and why it's important to study. This section should not exceed one page. Section 4. Objectives The fourth section of your synopsis is the objectives. In this section, you'll clearly state the specific goals and objectives of your research. Your objectives should be aligned with the problem formulation and the significance of your research. This section should not exceed one page. Section 5. Methodology, Planning of Work The fifth section of your synopsis is the methodology or planning of work. In this section, you'll describe the research design and methods you'll use to conduct your study. You'll also explain how you'll collect and analyze data, and discuss the limitations of your research. This section should not exceed two pages. Section 6. Facilities required for proposed work. The sixth section of your synopsis is the facilities required for your proposed work. In this section, you'll list the resources and facilities you'll need to conduct your research, such as MATLAB, Python, C, C++, or Java. You'll also explain how you plan to obtain or access these facilities. This section should not exceed one page. Section 7. References Finally, the last section of your synopsis is the references. In this section, you'll list the sources you've cited in your synopsis, following the preferred citation style of your department or institution. The overall synopsis page limit must not increase by more than 12 to 14 pages. And that's it. I hope this video has given you a good understanding of what a thesis synopsis should include and the page limitations you should keep in mind when writing. Facing any challenges while writing your intake thesis synopsis? TechPax offers the best thesis assistance to help you overcome any obstacles and achieve academic success. Get in touch with us today to take your thesis to the next level. Feel free to contact us for any inquiries related to selecting research topic with new ideas preparing synopsis, software or hardware development research or review paper writing thesis writing and removing plagiarism. Contact us, mobile no, plus 91-98152-16606, plus 91-76578-70606, plus 91-98147. 56606 visit us at www.techpacs.com www.mtechthesis.com